Okay, so we're back. So I was able to find these. Okay. My computer came with two of these to push out to make a gap. But as you can see, if I use my originals, they'll block the hole. But thank you, GeForce. They provided this, which is exactly what I need. It's basically the short form factor or the small form factor SFF uh, piece that I need. So they provide a big one if you have a full size tower and the small form factor. So this is what I need. Perfect. I use this little pliers to start just to turn it one time so I can twist these. the slide so I'm gonna just put it. oh look at that oh, look at that <laughs> that right there is what we didn't want to happen don't 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 do that guys don't do that <laughs> so be very careful when when taking this thing off it wants to go okay we're gonna slide this back on Now this should fit. You got the short form factor, great on, whatever this piece is called. I'm gonna take this back off. We know it fits. We're lucky there. And we're gonna go ahead and reinstall it to see if it fits nice and smooth. Then we're gonna start the whole computer and see if it recognizes the, um, the graphics card. Maybe, maybe we'll run some games. Okay, that fit in there. You don't want to push it too much. Let me show if it's in there. Is this going to close? Okay, so this fits in there. But these two little tabs, they don't necessarily want to close. Kind of got to force it forward just a little bit. And then, okay. So even with that, hopefully that's not pulling on the graphics card. That actually is. So we're not going to do that. Um, I'm going to close it without that because when I do that, and this is another issue again, let's zoom in on this. This piece right here does not want to close. And when I do it, it pulls the graphics card a little bit. And I don't want to keep that tension on this motherboard. It should close. When this piece wants to close, it's pulling this forward. I can close it. I can push this forward and close it. But then that's keeping, that's keeping the graphics card pulling this way. I don't want to do that. So I will, let's see how it fits with this closed. Okay. 
So that's okay with me. Let's zoom back out. Okay, guys. This is okay with me. The reason why is it's installed properly. This thing's going to be underneath the desk and nobody's ever going to see it. And on top of that, I care more about function than I do looks. So in your case, if this doesn't work for you, this might not be the card or you might have to get a different set of these. Um, you could bend these little tabs out, maybe bend these out a little bit to close it, but then you still risk the chance of the graphics card pulling to the left and over a long period of time, I don't know what that could do to the motherboard that's in this computer. Again, these things were massively produced, so they're not that strong. They're just meant for typing and maybe taking orders or something like that, whatever they're used for. So that completes the installation of the GeForce GTX 1050 Ti. Um, I'm gonna show how it plays. Uh, video games and maybe I'll run a Fortnite or something like that. I got to see what I have what games I even have it on there um, I don't play games on a computer. We'll see if it works All right guys, so we're back um, It actually loaded Oh, that's super dark Yeah, so it's actually plugged in back there um, to the graphics card. I don't want to move it too much But it is plugged in Looks a little funky. Might need to adjust it, definitely. Definitely, yeah, that's super exposed. I mean, super big. Let's go ahead and type in my password. I don't wanna see that. Okay. Ah, yeah, that. <laughs> All right, guys, so again, this is an issue that you probably might face. Look at everything, it's so huge. Yeah, my desktop did not look like that before, so let's go and play settings. Okay, that took a long time. I don't know why that took so long. Let's change this. The resolution right now is huge. This isn't 2001. It's okay, guys, so we're back with uh, straight of the content. Um, I just installed the graphics card, the GeForce GTX 1050 into my Optiplex 9020. Um, you're tuning into this video. Thank you for watching. Uh, I had a little bit of issues installing. Go back and look at that video and uh, watch how I install it. Um, there was a little issues with the case closing, uh, but I ended up getting everything in. And then we came to an issue, which you're looking at on screen, but actually the issue fixed itself. So if you install this graphics card or any other graphics card, again, I can only speak for the GTX 1050 Ti, the one that you see right here on the screen. And in fact, whenever you come to the website, you're going to go to gigabyte.com and you're going to look, you're going to hit service and support, and then you're going to come here and it's going to give you this drop down. So of course you're going to hit the whatever one is yours. When I hit the 1050 Ti, um, these options over here popped up. Now, I'm thinking it's just a regular low profile. Actually, I was wrong. When you look on the box, on the bottom of the box, it, it tells you that it's actually a 1050 Ti and it's actually an OC low profile. So make sure that you click the right one. But in the midst of doing that, I had to stop the video and go and help my wife create one of our, or go help her film uh, creating some merch. We're creating some merch for a friend of ours and uh, we had to kind of do something outside that we can't do in the house It's a little bit messy. So when we did it outside I come back and my screen is like this now if you look in the previous video you see that my screen is a lot fatter all the icons are a lot bigger these didn't even fit it had the the up and down so I guess while I was away the computer searched and it found this right here your PC needs to be restarted because it found the N NVIDIA high definition audio and it also wants me to launch the NVIDIA control panel. So this is really great. Um, 
It comes with a CD. Unfortunately, my computer doesn't come with a CD-ROM drive or a DVD-ROM drive. So this is an issue that you might face, and that's the reason why here at Straight Edit Content, on cars, on anything, we try to show you what happens behind the scenes. So we're not gonna, all our videos are gonna be quick cut and pretty. We're gonna show you all the issues that you might face. So this is my first time installing this. Um, actually, no, this is my second time trying to install a graphics card into this computer, but the first one didn't fit great that's an issue that you might that you might go through so I was able to show you that this one did fit but when I first plugged it in it didn't look right and that right there could scare somebody somebody could be like dang this isn't right I would suggest coming still coming to this website and going here to download the driver I don't have to because it automatically find found it you might not have that luck it might not automatically reset and install and correct it because I was going to settings and I'll tell you, I was going to settings. Oh, let's minimize this. Haha, <laughs> straight out of contact guy. Remember to hit that notification bell and like, comment, and subscribe. Please, if you don't have a YouTube, then share it. But if you do have a YouTube, please subscribe because I'm trying to get our subscribers up so that I can go live and really start pumping out these videos. These haircuts right here, these are from. Cutting Up With Dan, check out his Instagram at Cutting Up With Dan on Instagram as well. So I came here, wow, this is new. So the computer was able to find the right drivers. Basically, this graphic card is plug and play, which is amazing, that's great. That's what you wanted out of a graphics card. So I didn't have to do anything. Once I installed it, I just had to be patient. So I would suggest if you install this, Gigabyte, GeForce, GTX 1050 Ti, which is a super common graphics card, low budget graphics card on uh, YouTube. And again, mine is a low profile because I have a small factor, I mean, small form factor PC, however, SFF. <laughs> correct me down, in, correct me down below in the comments down below. Correct me down there. Okay. So this is a plug and play type of graphics card which is amazing because when I came here to display settings I didn't have these options I didn't have the 90 uh, yeah 1920 by 1080 I didn't have any of these options and again you can go a lot higher oh no actually this is the highest that stinks I thought you could go higher anyway <laughs> you know I'm always dropping great tech content gaming content uh, how-to videos DIY videos as we were just outside in the yard doing a DIY um, bleach shirt so that content will also be up on straight edit content and if you have any content that you don't have time to edit or that you want on a platform that somebody else can see because you're not able to get any views on your platform please shoot us your video we can always I'm here in Houston Texas if you're in Texas and you ever want to link up we can definitely link up and we can do a lot of content together alright guys so this graphics card is complete I will do another video guys remember to Hit that notification bell, like, comment, and subscribe. Please, please subscribe and leave as many comments as you want, and I will try to answer them as best I can. All right, guys, thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned for the next one.